Hey guys, so Terry Storziri asked a question about the app that I used to edit my video to make the voiceover the pictures. So I just thought I'd show it real quick. It's called Kind Master, K-I-N-E-M-A-S-T-E-R. You can see it right there in the corner. And if you don't have the premium version, it'll it'll leave that little watermark on your videos, which you'll see that a lot in my videos. So I just put in a bunch of random pictures in here. Of course, the photos, so they don't have any sound. So I'm going to show you how to do it. If you want to just record a voice over the pictures, you hit voice. And then you'll see it says start. So when I hit start, it's going to record a voice. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Then you just stop it wherever you want it. You check off, hit the check mark, that just confirms it. So now we'll go back to the beginning and now you'll hear it. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. All right, so that's all you have to do for that. So say if you wanted to cut off some of this voice, you would just highlight it move it where you want to cut it, hit trim split, and you can either just split it right down the middle and then decide later what to do with each side, or you can trim it to the left or the right. So say we want to get rid of the stuff here on the right, we just hit trim to the right of playhead, and it deletes that part. So then you could just start your, move your audio where you want to put it, and start it again, voice, and so on. So say if you wanted to do a voice over a video that already has a voice on it. So yeah, I have some videos here. Let me just play the video the way it is. We added some liquid plumber and some boiling water. All right. So say I didn't want, I wanted to use this video, the picture of it, but not the actual audio on it. I could highlight that video, go to the volume button right here and see how the volume is at 100%. I can just put it to 0%, which is basically just muting it. So now let's listen to it now. So there's no audio now. So then if you wanted to do a voice Exhaust over this, again, just go to the audio. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Hit the check mark. And then it's put the audio there instead of the testing voice one, that was in the video. Two, three. Testing one, two, three. All right, and there's another thing you might want to do. Say you want this audio to keep playing that's in this video, but you want to flash over to a different video. So you just put it where you want the video. Say right here, we want to, we want to just put in some other picture or video. So we're going to hit layer right here. And what we want to layer another piece of media. So we hit media. So then you just go to your camera. This is all the videos that you have. So let's want to add this video right here. And I'm going to expand it all the way because I want it to totally cover the video that that's there and hit the check mark. So now we have, so we're going to build from this point and the pressure from the washer we are hoping will push through. Uh, so right now we're going to be in the building. So right there, you can hear the audio to both videos, which you don't want. So you want to go here, split it, split this video right here, split it the playhead. So now we want to play this audio on the top video, but we want to show the bottom video. So let we're going to mute the bottom video's volume. Put it down to zero. Hit the check mark. Now we're going to play the audio on this video, but show this video. From this point. All right, let's. It's still slow, but it's improved on what it was. So we're going to build from this point, and the pressure from the washer we are hoping will. So push this through. is a different video, but the audio is um, the so right previous video that was it. playing. So that's okay. how you do that. So I hope this helps. Anybody that uses this Kind Master, I really highly recommend it. I use it all, 
This is the only thing I've ever really used. I used to use iMovie, but I had problems with it. Even though I now have an iPhone, this is my old phone, um, I still use the Kind Master. And it recently, I fairly, fairly recently, I believe it just came out for the iPhone. It used to be just for Android, I believe. Let me go over it real quick again. So here we have the audio with testing pictures. Testing one, two, three. Testing one. All right, we stop the audio there. And now we're going to have a different audio with this video that's going to play. Testing one, two, three. Testing so we muted one, that two, video's three. audio and we added some more. An exhaust and we blew through it. It's still slow, but it's... So now we're going to keep the video that's playing right now, the audio to this video, but we've switched it to a different video. Different, so you'll be seeing something different than what you'll be hearing. It's improved on what it was. So we're going to build from this point, and the pressure from the washer we are hoping will push through. Uh, All right. So All right. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Take care. So this is the funny way that I had to record this video. I don't have any kind of overhead rig, so I just use this box and use rubber bands to put my phone there and filmed it right through there. That's my daughter's Christmas present. Hopefully she doesn't watch this video.